and welcome back to We Happy Few. My name is Booster. We gotta go meet up with Anton Verloc. Yeah, and I'm not sure what to expect out of this game. I, I feel like we're almost done, but because Sally's, her skill bar is filling up so fast, but I'm not sure. It's hard to really judge. Uh, there we go. Okay, Verloc's out that way. So if I just go straight ahead, turn right, I'll go, okay, right to him. Cool. So I'm gonna get turned down for this one. And then Arthur goes and he gets it for me and comes out that nasty ass green sewage pipe. Hello, it's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh man. I'll get a door for ya. Now does Sally, is Sally the one who sparks off all the fires? Hmm. Were they playing patty cake? Mr. That's Boyle, great. What a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, Mom, you brighten our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my Never notes. my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close, so close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. So, she fuck was... A... Fuck. Oh. Why do I get cod liver oil now? Uh, hi guys, where's the door? There it is. Gwen needs a new nappy. Oh, for God's sakes. Wait, Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the garden district, he was so mad, but he could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. Okay. Visit Arthur in the Garden District. Very different, because Arthur came right to her house, and we asked for the card liver oil. Okay. So... I'll do that, but first Gwen needs a new nappy. I swear I just did that. It's almost like babies are constantly peeing and pooping. Shit, I need to go get some duct tape. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to buy some. There ain't nothing here for me to use to buy it. So I'm just going to have to like warp out here and find some duct tape while I'm out and about, which means Gwen is going to be pissed. I'm going to have a massive debuff. This is not a good start. I mean, ugh. I am in Paris. Wow, Arthur. You look, um,. Pretty pathetic right now. I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. 
He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with? What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know? I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After... What, your what mom my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. I'm sorry. I, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll... I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm really... Really. It just, I'll just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here. Sometime. Let you know when I've got it. You didn't upset him, you I just got to see the general stunned now. him. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Super, super fun. However, I see a memory on the playground. Whoops. Gingham. You can't expect me to wear that. Since when do you care about fashion? I thought that was only for silly girls. For God's sake, Gingham. I look like Hansel and Gretel. You've been looking a bit too... provocative. Provocative? I don't even wear a bra yet. Mm, maybe you should. You don't want men to get the wrong idea about you. First I'm not doing enough to get a man, now I'm trying too hard. Just wear the dress, will you? It'll keep away the wrong sort of attention. Hmm. Starting to fill out, and there was a bunch of people who shouldn't have been looking at her that were. Hmm. Okay, now I gotta find some duct tape. I've already got pissed off, baby. Got to visit the Victory Memorial Camp. I just realized that on my, my list of things that I need to accomplish. I fast travel there? No. So, what I'm gonna do is try and do that. I've been looking in vain for duct tape. I have not found it. I need to find it in desks and filing cabinets, and I'm not finding any of those. So, we're gonna go to the memorial camp. There's lots of desks and filing cabinets there. I think I'll be allowed in and around because I'm a friend of the generals. I won't have to sneak in like Arthur and hopefully I can get what I need to make a nappy. Because by the time I get back, not only will I need a nappy, I'll need to feed her. All right. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. No, no, nice to sure. see you, Miss Boyle. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next war can't come soon enough, if you ask me, miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. You Just don't it is it, General. Because all you know. Remember, be your own dog. No when you I go with him in the dictionary, let me tell you. Here he goes again with the elephant. Yeah, you two bloody at the end of our time. Tune in again tomorrow. We'll see the city boys running into the regimental HQ. Say this elephant broke us. 
I hope the general's not in one of his old poor me moves. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. Well, let's hope he's cheery. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle, we weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, while the I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Damn it. So I don't get to loot the place. Miss Boyle! Oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! I suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Just Army stare at him. Ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of Rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. Sweet, that works. Now you're probably going to have to shag him. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could see <sighs> it's something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Oh, no. Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but they made everyone so unhappy. Can, can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but... No, I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I have a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I thought you'd be grateful. Ow. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. Well, that all went really poorly, and now it's a bit crazy, and I still haven't found right. duct tape. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. 
I the baby feeder. Oh, I don't have fucking money for that. Wait. If the general's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here. Steal his damn boat. This is the boathouse. Okay. Just what I need, a stealth mission. We all know how good I am at stealth missions. This will go swimmingly. Because you know what? It's a lovely day for it. Nothing? God, I need duct tape. Oh, hey, I also need to hide. Go hide, quick, stealthy, quiet. Okay. Super sneaky squirrel. I don't have anything. I just know it's straight ahead of me, but all these fucking flowers everywhere kind of making my life both awesome and miserable. I have no idea what the best way to do this is, but I like staying as far away from everyone as possible. Plus, there's a cliff here, so I can jump to my death if I need to. No problems whatsoever. Okay, that seems like a cheat. That seems like a goddamn cheat. That was way too easy. I'm happy about it. Don't get me wrong. That, that was awesome, but that was way too easy. Yeah, sneaks. The general's Bristol pilot. My god, if I could steal a boat, but does it work? Talk to Hardy. But first... Okay, if they're fixing a boat, there has to be duct tape here. Pride and prejudice. I don't know who you're trying to fool, Mum. Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl. Okay, that's not true at all. You got a smart girl with a sense of humor. You're doing something right. How is there not duct tape? That's how you fix cars. It's how you fix boats. It's how you fix everything. Okay, Corporal Hardy. Miss Boyle, how lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. I don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the general's expert on boats. Well, I mean, you could patch My the hole. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but yeah, it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for late patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you have of course you're not. fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, um, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right, but don't tell the general. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the general be surprised? Terribly surprised when we fix his boat. <laughs> no wonder you can't fix it. You don't have fucking duct tape. Well, Gwen, oh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. <laughs> I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. Well, what you do? is you turn it on for starters. Like if you can't get that far, you're in trouble, but you push the thing all the way forward and then you just steer. It's easy. I mean, you gotta not hit shit, which might be a lot more difficult, but yeah. 
Okay, where is Dr. Fair? Has it updated? I don't see Dr. Faraday yet. Uh, shit. Let's let's. I guess I'll need to steal the general's key to the boat. All right. First things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once, and then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Maybe there's a path on the other side where I can super sneaky sneak through around the outside edge where no one can see me. It's totally not cheating if it's part of the game design. I mean, it may be gameplay is not intended, but it's gameplay as designed. So... By the way, that's how MMO gamers uh, justify the fact that they're exploiting a game. Yeah, it's not gameplay as, as designed, but it's game... Or as intended, but it's gameplay as designed. They put it in the game. Not my fault they put it in the game. I really need some duct tape. I wonder if I can, like, exploit it now. Can I exploit the game to cover up for my shittiness now? Oh, maybe. Just maybe. This is kind of shit my son does. Like, he won't play the game the proper way. He tries to find the shortcut, and I really should not be encouraging him because he's going to see this, but that's what's happening. I'm finding the easy way out. I'm such a terrible example. Don't laugh at that, buddy. Do not laugh. I don't care how terrible of an example I am. You do it the right way. Unlike me. Ah! Uh, Please have duct tape in here! Ugh. All right. What, what are we looking at for crazy old pirate? Way back over here. All right, where am I going? Uh, I went the wrong way. So we're looking for a pirate. <laughs> Maybe he'll have duct tape in his pirate's cache. Like his treasure box will be filled with duct tape because why the fuck not? It's not like anybody has any money. Is it one eye Willie? Is it one-eyed Willy? Will there be an octopus? I can't handle an octopus. And Arthur can't fill in for Sloth because, I mean, he doesn't have Sloth's power. He may be able to do, you know, Sloth's voice like, Hey, you guys! <laughs> but he doesn't have the power. Hi. Please tell me I have duct tape. Let's send my money, shall we? Fuck me. Came in a different color. Usual. Oh, I'm I, I need duct tape. For someone. He's not here. He's he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money too? No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elefino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. Well, thanks for nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if she has duct tape. I doubt it, but maybe that's part of her alterations. Oh my fucking god, I have to go all the way... Yam worshippers only. Oh God, it's them. Do you have duct tape? Like, I, I feel bad for you, but... Oh my God, look at all those drugs. Captain Strawbeard. They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Do you have a Who's rat on your shoulder? The up on the hill. The Yam people. It's not Yams they worship. They, it's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're going to kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... 
My legs have got all watery. No, I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. How'd you pull off the facial hair with that mask? Because that's the first person I've seen with facial hair. All right, we're going to sneak. Turn back now or face the wrath of the yam. I mean, yams aren't that tasty, but I'm not. We should all eat it. Just cut it up into tiny bits and each have a taste. Even a tiny little squid would heal us. No, it wouldn't. All right, I was sneaking. No, please, in no, hope. Don't kill me. My God, they're gonna cut his heart out. I don't think I want to fight all these vegetable worshippers. I wonder if there's a way I could drug them. Oh, look, they're drinking out of a chalice. Hear the words of the no, old craft for knockout juice. I don't think I can. I don't have alcohol. I don't have night blooming non such. So incapacitate all five of them. Is there something up here for me to do to release him? Why is it there? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, me boy. Be sweets if I came along with them, but there weren't any, and they tied me up. You mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. Hi, I saved you him. saved him? I wish I had. I love that lad. He's one of the best people I know. Yeah. He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a general's. Oh, that's a beauty. I love that boat. Clean lines, beautiful woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I... I feel smarter about boats already. When is Arthur getting that cod liver oil? Maybe he's got it. Maybe he's already sent a note on the blower. I'm so close to our playground. Maybe I should just see if he's there and see how things are going. Yeah, this is definitely different. Interesting. I thought it would mesh together better. Um, it Hi. kind of breaks You're still in town. your immersion. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look... rough. What do you care? How are you gonna get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? What? Just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I'd never anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Definitely different. Let's go together. My two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? It's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> Didn't tell me that one. Did not tell it's me that one. Preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur. Oh, and I think way less of you now, Arthur. 
You knew also, about the baby and you walked off? That's way different from the Arthur playthrough. Did he even hear me? Yeah? Of he heard you. He just didn't care. Not that he brought the cod liver oil. It's not that he didn't care. That. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast These as I two, can. These two, the two musketeers in space. Oh, it's really sad. But. Oh my God. I've got, I've got bad feelings, bad juju going on here. Are we going to get there in time? I, I really feel like we're not going to get there in time to save the baby. Ooh, that's, that's just a bad feeling in the chest. Like, we're going to get there and give her the oil, but it's not going to do the trick. Baby's crying because I haven't changed her diaper in two fucking days because I'm a monster. Oh, why is it shut? Look to the right. Look to the right. Clear the room. General's going to be right there. Mommy's got something wonderful for you. Not wonderful. It's perfectly horrid. It's actually pretty disgusting from what I've heard. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. Please, Please let me be wrong for done. once. Well, for once. We're leave this awful place like, and go wherever constantly. We want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. Now what? I know a thing or two about the general's boat. Now I just need a boat motor. I hope Dr. <sighs> Faraday can make me one I can carry. Uh, that's a pissed off baby and for good reason. You have duct tape anywhere, Sally? Oh, who cares? I got what I need. I got the baby feeder. Buy it. There you go. Hope your bird looks it. I'm sure nice. she will. Lionel, flowers. Yeah, whatever. Who gives a shit? We got the baby feeder. Don't got fucking duct tape. <laughs> Install it. Do I need to do anything? No. I just need the nappy. Oh my god. That diaper rash. Ugh. Why is Dr. Faraday in town? Dr. Faraday was locked up in a wacky ass fucking mansion way outside of town. It was like nowhere near civilization. Now they've got her in civilization. What the fuck's going on? Jammed. Okay, that I remember. And this this place I remember, but it was way the fuck outside of town. Are the two idiots still oh here? Oh dear. We'll shut it up. I hope she's not gone on holiday. Annie's pretty neat, isn't she? Oh, this again. It was months ago. I was only dancing. Well, she turned you someone's on. Someone's inside, obviously. I was only dancing. You wanted her. Don't get me wrong. I was only dancing. I was watching from the stairs. I know you're in there. James. James. Roger, it's you Sally Boyle. That... Oh, Sally. What are you doing here? Roger. Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Where's Dr. Faraday? Is she all right? I'm afraid she died. There was an explosion. For fuck's sake, James. It's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James. She said she died in the explosion. <laughs> She's right upstairs. Roger! Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. Yeah, you could kill off Roger and James. I need help. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. Disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Help me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but the make-believes. The early stuff, before Nick sold out. 
The unicorn song? That's my favourite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See, I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter. I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where totally I Totally different. Is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, I'd remember my idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? Well, that sneeze is more complicated than a boat motor. <laughs> I thought you were here for something difficult. <laughs> wow! <laughs> sure. You bring me the unicorn song and I'll make you a boat motor. The unicorn song? That awful song. I bet the only person in Wellington Wells who hasn't burned their record is Nick himself. I can't believe how many times he made me listen to it. Or well, at least we were on drugs. He'd never part with it. On the other hand, he's passed out half the time I come by. I'll just sneak in while he's sleeping. Where did I leave the key card he gave me? It's in that suitcase I brought to the Bobbies. Where the hell did I leave it there? Enter the police garage optional. Wait, so I can get in without it? I'm gonna get in without it. Like, if that's possible. I'm not sure here, but I'm guessing I'm going to need to sneak. Nope, not trespassing. Wow. Um, you've got a nice shithole. I mean... Well, funky as ever. I'm not surprised the maid quit. Well, he's out cold in the tub. Probably should just shut the door. That looks really suspicious. Oh! Now do I need to do it? Pull to enter his hideout. I'm not even gonna watch that cinematic. A bit paranoid, aren't we? Are you What's fucking you kidding me? Okay, I heard a shock. We're putting on the suit. I can't believe someone actually likes this record. Aside from Nick, of course. Everything's weird and disgusting, and I don't even know want to know what he does with those. Fucking a bucket. Whoa, look, lads! It's our lucky day! We no, don't need to not. go through this again, do we? Don't you remember what happened last time? I have a very poor memory. Almost as bad as my impulse control. Fact remains, you have been sending unapproved pharmaceuticals in Bobby Catesby's domain, and you ain't paid for that privilege. All right, let's dance. Why did you say that? You aren't a fighter, Bobby's. Bobby's help. Did they bribe the Bobby's to just disappear? There's always Bobby's somewhere. Do you have my record? I have indeed. This is fantastic! I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. And my motor? Have you made that? And you have earned your boat motor. I won't ask you whose boat or where you're sailing yet. I have an entirely different plan. Does it involve portals? Clever lass! Hmm. Remarkably compact for a boat motor. All right. I've got a boat motor and a boat manual. Now all I need is the 
He doesn't have it in his office in the camp, or I'd have found it already. If I know him at all, it's in his safe house. This sounds bad. Infiltrate his safe house. Where is that at? All right, down there. That's actually not too far away. Let's go ahead and do I that. Will be coming in. A little rat feet. I mean, the general expected you to show up, but you like kind of fucked with him and said no. I fully expect him to That's be prepared for this. The station where I threw him the masquerade ball. Why don't I just sneak in and abscond with the key? Because he's going to be prepared for it. <gasps> He knows you know that this is how to get out. He's going to be prepared and it's not going to be that easy. Gonna need that. Does it just hurt me? Find his goddamn key card. Requires power. Boy, there's a lot to do here. Okay. What does this do for me? Climbed up there. I ran around. Oh. How do I get over there, though? Is that. Can't tell if that's outset from the wall or not. I need to get up there. Okay, don't fall off. We got to get over here. Fuck in a bucket. No. Uh, no. No. Uh. We're fucked. We're totally fucked. He's going to know it was us. We're going to be out until he shows up. Come to my safe house. I meant knock on the door, not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen's safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? Come, look. He's already got her. It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year. Vitamins, first aid. How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. I don't think he's no, the doctors are scaring the streets. Gonna give you a choice. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not gonna do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard! You are horrible, vicious coward! Sally! Traitor. Do you love her or do you just love having someone who needs you? Just stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. You'll come first. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. <laughs> oh! Kill him! Kill him! You no! You can't run! You have to kill him! I think just piss him off. Oh, you I've think? Gotta get out of here. Sally! Oh, Sally! You won't be leaving this facility without me! I have the only key card! I've got it. Where's my stuff? Oh my god, this just became miserable. Take him down somehow. 
Ooh, see? Ben took all your stuff, where is it? The unsafe house. Hey! <gasps> How is that going to work? You be mine or I'll beat the piss out of you, bitch! <laughs> fuck! I need power cells. Out of the way, fuck off. Go eat shit. Oh! I just gotta wait now. Ring around the rosy. Seriously, you, sir, are a dick. What do you think you're doing in my pantry? Did we kill him? My stuff in his office. I better get it back. Will he wake up? More important fucking question. Oh, wrong way. despise me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my old age. Ah! Oh! I'm not your consolation prize. Damn, girl! And the shutter closed! How long was I in there? Wow. I've got to get back to Gwen. If she's still even fucking there... Lovely day for it. The neighbors think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> Not me. If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that. After he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the general is going to be really fucking pissed off. I don't think... He much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Personally, I'd like to see your customer list. Odd. Something I've not smelled since... That's a baby! Yes! Time to kill him, Savage. Come on, kill him, kill him! Go! Audio's off again. Fuckity, fucking a buckety bucket. Yeah? Okay, think, Sally. If he doesn't come back, they'll send more doctors. We can't stay here anymore, can we? I've got to move you someplace safe. I'm not trying to move her during the day. Everyone wants to stop and have a chat. You and Gwen can finally escape to the mainland. Are you ready? Once you pick her up, you are done with any adventures in Wellington Wells. And until you get her to the boathouse, you won't be able to fight or even throw things. Well, at least you're not crying. Yeah. It's gonna be dark in here, darling. But when you come out... You'll be as safe as you can be. Which is not saying much. You're going to be as quiet as a mouse, aren't you? Yeah. Because you don't want Mummy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces. Just go to sleep for a little while. Alright? I mean, <laughs> it's nighttime, she should. Oh, we have but... to do this travel safely across <clears throat> the entire city. 
and not upset any doctors or any townsfolk carrying torches or pitchforks or plague victims. Oh, the stories you'll have when you grow up. Oh my god, please, 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 please tell me I can fast travel. If I have to run there, no. Because it's way out here, so. Oh, thank god. We've been recording for like over two hours, but it's just always felt like we're right there. We're right on top of this. We're about to get out of this, and we are... Oh, wow. Okay, let's go, Sally. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's gonna be here, isn't he? Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. No one's here. Thank God. Let's get out of here, shall we, Gwen? There should be someone here. This is bad. This is bad. Shh. It's almost over. Install the boat motor. Like I know how to fucking do that. What? What? Let's just lower this into the water. So here's a question. Why didn't the general ask Dr. Faraday or demand Dr. Faraday do this? Jump, jump in, jump in before the general shows up. It can't work that easy. It can't. Nothing's been this easy. Go, 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 go. Go! Yeah, see, so you just push it forward and go. Quickly, get away from the dock before he shows up to fucking get us. I didn't think we'd make it out. Did not think we'd make it out. No, they won't. Oh, they won't anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. <laughs> As she catches measles. I guess I'm happy, would you? We're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers. better shot at things than Arthur. I mean, Arthur didn't have shit. He just walked out with a fucking, like, bat. Ollie! Crazy Scotsman Ollie? That's cool. I need to save it, though. I wonder if that lad had got away all right. Wasn't that the caper? I thought he'd never cut the power. Well, I hope she likes it. That wasn't very nice, what you did to Arthur. What did you do while I was out? Stuff. Chanterelle? You're a master of conversation. 
Look what I got you in the warehouse. Oh. She's so pretty. This is really sad already. It's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarm? They're all quite mad, you know, the home army lads. Did you know the power switch was alarm? I think they want the Germans to come back. It's the shame of it, you see. You bloody knew! For heaven's sake, Auntie, times are hard, but you and I are neighbours from way back. The tanks are hollow, Ollie. What's that? The tanks, they're made of papier mache. Like we made at school. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. Did, did you know they were fake? Of course not. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. I would have told the lads. But, would have risen up. But, Ollie, oh God. you were the general secretary. I did. You must have known. You don't forget a thing like that. I lied my way off that train. If we'd have known, we'd have risen up, we'd have had to. I promise Percy I'd keep him safe. We'd have saved you and everyone else's kids. Didn't you hear me? I have to go find him. Oh, the bridge is crawling with policemen. There's that thingy-majig you told me about. But I was going to use that. You, you were going to leave me? No, of course not. You're my daughter. You'll never believe you're a bridge inspector. You're right. You're always right. He is gone Take bonkers because he let his daughter be taken. You're there to fix the Either bridge that works. or she died. And from Maiden home, I can get to Apple home. Oh, and say hello to Percy for me. Well then, see you on the other side. I don't see how you could have not known. I couldn't have known about the tanks, Meg. I'd never have forgotten such a thing. I'll see the general. He'll tell you. He'll tell us I never knew. Margaret. He has to. He's bonkers because he knew. Ah, for fuck's sake! Someone's broken in. Look, down there. He hits harder than most people, but he's slower, too. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, well, that's where we're going to stop this one. Oh, my God, we're into Ollie, and he is batshit crazy. I bet you he knew about the tanks. And that's why he took his joy, and that's why he repressed it, and he's gone psycho bonkers, and he can see his daughter. Wow. Anyway, leave a like. Comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you can see whenever I upload a new video. Stop by Facebook, stop by Twitter. That's where you get all the latest news on what I'm doing, what's going on. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you all in the next one. Bye!